A new article came out by Automaton Media discussing an interview between Dragon Quest creator Yuji Horii and the director and producer of the upcoming Metaphor ReFantasio. In this conversation, the topic of Dragon Quest storytelling methods came up, where Yuji Horii stated, Dragon Quest basically consists of dialogue with townspeople with very little in the way of narration. The story is created within the dialogue. That's what's fun about it. And as a lifelong fan of the franchise, I wholeheartedly agree with this statement. The story being conveyed naturally by the townspeople of the world and reacted to by the party members is a huge part of what makes this series' worlds feel more alive and lived in. After talking a bit about how he originally wanted to become a manga writer and his ideas of telling stories that progress through interactions with bosses, they then moved on to the topic that Yuji Horii feels is a small but unexpected challenge the Dragon Quest series is facing now that graphics have been evolving. The Silent Protagonist. Before we continue, if you enjoyed Dragon Quest and JRPG content, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn notifications to all so you won't miss the next video. I'm hoping we can get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and only you have the power to make it possible. Thank you so much for all your love, now let's continue. The idea behind what Yuji Horii himself refers to as the symbolic protagonist is that it allows the player to become the main character. I've said it many times before, but in Dragon Quest, you are the hero, and this was exactly Yuji Horii's reasoning for maintaining the status quo when it comes to his main characters. This way, the player can focus on the story and events with their own reactions in mind, instead of how the game is telling them to react with a vocal main character. This helps with the immersion in these incredibly crafted and fleshed out worlds, and also prevents the player from feeling detached from the situation at hand if the lead was a character they didn't particularly relate to. For example, one of the bigger reasons I could never get into Final Fantasy VII, and a big reason a lot of folks aren't able to get into Final Fantasy VIII, is because of this. I've never liked Cloud as a character and don't relate to him or most of the characters in Final Fantasy VII at all. So when you stuff me in a dilapidated city for three hours, then offer a smidge of exploration, only to be chucked into a prison beneath the gold saucer, I had little motivation to want to continue. With Final Fantasy VIII, a lot of people could not connect to Squall's personality and perspective. He sometimes came off as whiny and selfish. Although this is his starting out point and he does grow throughout the game, it's tough for most to stick with it until this growth actually occurs. Having a well done story with fantastic party members and a well done silent protagonist is a great way to avoid this. Yuji Horii went on to jokingly say, as game graphics evolve and grow increasingly realistic, if you make a protagonist who just stands there, they'll look like an idiot. Acknowledging that there's no real easy fix for this, he goes on to say, that's why the type of protagonist featured in Dragon Quest becomes increasingly difficult to depict as games become more realistic. This will be a challenge in the future too. Back when Dragon Quest XII was announced and discussed, I remember hearing that there may be choices that the player can make which might change the series of events in the game. Could this be a step towards something like the Mass Effect series dialogue options? Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Western RPGs, and we could do an entire separate video on that if you'd like, but games like the Fallout and Mass Effect series have had a ton of success by having you as the main character, who pretty much only talks based on your dialogue choices. Allowing the character to be vocal, have input, and affect the events around them, while still maintaining that essence of being you, the player. What do you guys think? I personally love the silent, or dare I say, symbolic protagonist. When done well in a great story, fantastic world, and amazing cast of characters, there's nothing else like it. I also enjoy having more input in the story, so either of these options would be good in my opinion. But do you like silent or symbolic protagonists? What would you change about the heroes of the Dragon Quest series moving forward? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you subscribed, I'll see you in the next video.